three. I don't know how many weeks to go. <sighs> I don't know in three or four more weeks if the gym will reopen or not. Like none of us really know, but I'm hoping so. I myself noticed I'm getting fat. I'm getting fat in ISO. I've tried really, really hard to not get fat in ISO. And okay, disclaimer, I know I'm not like fat fat. I know I'm not obese, but I was at a really much better position where before this all started. And it doesn't really help that I have been eating a monstrosity of cheese. And yesterday I ate a kilo of hummus and jars of peanut butter and whatever. Like I know it's not good, but then in saying that, it's also not good that I'm not doing enough cardio while I'm in isolation and all of this. But let's just face it, like I don't like indoor cardio. I don't like, not say indoor cardio, I don't like cardio like jumping rope. I don't like any of that stuff. Like if I'm gonna do cardio, I'm gonna go for a walk outside, which I'm gonna go do tomorrow. And generally speaking, when I'm not in ISO, I because I don't drive, I walk around a lot. Like I, I walk so much everywhere, like all the time. And um, so tomorrow, because they have reopened beaches, I am going to go and do a big, big walk all the way from Sydney City to Maroubra Beach, or, Bo or not Bondi, because that's still closed, or Coogee, one of the two. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna film it, so stay tuned for that. So today, I am doing an improv workout with you. And no, it's not my water bottle. Why I have this is just so you can see that instead of like getting, if you see this little stick thing in there, that's a charcoal stick. And what you do with that charcoal stick is you keep it in the water for like a few hours. The longer you leave it in, the better. And it purifies the water. So if you don't have an at-home purifier or you want to just take this on the go with you, instead of like constantly refilling the purifier or whatever, you can put one of those sticks in there. They last for about six months with regular use. Super cheap. That cost me $10 Australian. And it'll last me for six months with regular use. And you just put it in there and it doesn't change the taste in any kind of way. It makes water taste better and like alkalines I think but it does it like sucks up the impurities in the water as well so that's why I have that there but also saying this is like a 1.9 litre bottle of water so if I'm to do exercises with this with that handle that could essentially transition to a kettlebell I am a non-drinker as you all know but I always have a little supply of a couple of bottles of wine a couple of bottles of this in case I have visitors over so for today we're gonna do a workout using bottles of wine. Now, a bottle of wine is 750 mils. I don't know, in Australia, we use mil, litre, all that. I know in America, you have a different metric system. Is it called metric? I don't know, it's different. 750 mil bottle of wine. The reason I like wine is because hands can go around it very comfortably. When you go up to, say, like a plastic water bottle, I mean, try and avoid plastic completely anyway, but when you go up to things like that, the grip on them is a little different, you know? Like, you can't have it too wide because you need to hold on to it. But 750 mils is equivalent to about 750 grams plus the weight of the actual glass itself. So I would estimate roughly, I mean, I don't have a set of scales here, that these would be about, actually I have some kitchen scales. Anyway, it doesn't matter. These would be about a kilo each. Yeah, I'd say these are one kilo. Yeah, kilo each. I'm gonna go with that. So for today, <laughs> I'm gonna do an upper body workout for you using just my bottles of wine and that's it, all just bottles of wine. So here we go.
remember to give me a thumbs up as well as a subscribe. It really supports my channel. Please stay safe and if you really want to, have a glass of wine when you finish working out. Bye!